Alright, so the other day I showed you a picture of the view looking outside my front door. So now we'll show you a view looking inside the front door. And once again, we'll just give you an idea. That's looking out over the mountains. This is what's around behind me. This is where my tent is set up. You can see the tent sitting there. Now let's go inside and see how does a man live in a tent for four months. Alright, this is my humble abode. As you can see, it's not much, but it's got the creature comforts for a bachelor. Everything a man needs. In here, I have a pantry full of food. In this side, I have clothes. I have a single burner stove. Plenty of countertop. Pressurized water system. If you pop this top off, you have a sink. There's my dishes. I have my heater. I have a work table, or just a general table, my fan. I have my 64 quart compressor fridge, which will keep anything cold. I can set the temperature or whatever I want down to minus two degrees Celsius, so below freezing. My chair, my night light. I can hang up my towels, my paper towel. I got my lighting system strung up, my emergency light in case the power goes out. I do have an extension cord run, so I do have electricity in here. Um, garbage. My towel holder also works great for a hat holder. And I'll turn the camera around and show you the rest of the view. Alright, and once again, from a little different angle, the fridge, the table, the heater. I've also got my movies set up underneath here. I've got some tools underneath here in a toolbox. My bed, which comprised of a cot with an air mattress, got to have the creature comforts, my sleeping bag, a blanket, and a handmade quilt by my good friend Miss Evelyn Felton. You may be asking, it's July, no, June 30th, and I have got a sleeping bag and two blankets on my bed. The lows every night are around 40 to 45 degrees. The heater works but I don't want to use up all of my propane, so I just keep it on low to keep it from getting too cold in here. I've also got my clothes system hanging up. I'm going to get my lighting system. Maybe I'll do a picture later when it gets a little darker and I can turn the lights on. And storage under the bed, and that's pretty much it. So I'm living the, living the high life here in 8,600 feet in the Green River Mountain Range. And what, about an hour southeast of Jackson, Wyoming. Come out and join me if you need something to do. We'll continue posting pictures of what's going on and let you keep up to date. Until then.